hello this is Frida welcome to my channel <laughs> I want to do something different today so with these yarn these two are from my stash they're super wash merino wool and they're super nice uh, this one it's the same but I, I don't have the tag for this and I did receive a package from Svetlana I will from Turkey Istanbul I am going to do the yarn showing but I didn't have time I've been crazy busy cooking everyone's home you know life goes on so uh, I received this yarn and she gifted me this two two of these and uh, so I'm gonna use this oh, three together on my Addy knitting machine so let's I'm going to show you how it goes I'm just uh, wondering how it's gonna turn out so please stay tuned with me and let's see how it works okay here we are so what I did is I set up on a chair that I have and uh, I've been on this um, Addy uh, knitting uh, group on Facebook and oh my goodness I'm getting so much so many things inspired with, with these lovely lovely ladies <laughs> one lady well actually two ladies they have been uh, set up on a stool so uh, that's gonna be my next purchase the stool was upside down so uh, if you're making a scarf, you know, it gets hard because it's pretty long, right? We You need to do about 300 rows. So, uh, yeah, so I'm, that's going to be my next. So I bought these at Dollarama. These are chip clips that you clip, you know, just to uh, close up your uh, bag. Let me show you. Uh, let's say if this is a bag, what you do is, you know, you close this and you put this clip just to clip it oh I cut my finger and it hurts so bad it's a tiny cut but oh the, the pain is terrible so this is what I bought to uh, to weight it weight like you need some sort of weight so you won't have drop stitches and I don't do it fast I, I'm very gentle on my Addy even it's been a couple of two weeks I believe so what I do is I put the clip like this and then uh, what I do is uh, I have yarn everywhere as you can see I'm trying to pull up all the yarn that I have from my stash so what I'm doing is I'm gonna do three strands as you can see but it's not thick it's not it, this isn't even four weight because uh, those are sock yarns that I showed you and this is very lace like a zero and uh, I thought it would look nice. So let's see how it's going to turn out. So I'm just going to find the black. If you have an adding machine, you know how to start this, right? You go, uh, go like this. You skip one. You go to the next one. Skip one. Next one. Skip one. Can you see? And then go on like that. So I will uh, come back. It's gonna take me a while. I, I'm very slow on my adding machine. Even I have uh, made uh, hats and scarves. I think I made five scarves for the homeless so far. <laughs> I'm so super, super happy because I cut my finger. I can't work. I can't do knitting. It hurts so bad. I know you can't see anything, right? But it's so painful. Anyways, I will finish this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I come to the white and the yarn has to be on the back and then what I do is I just put uh, this took me a while to learn because you have to follow the steps otherwise you will keep on dropping stitches and even though I am trying I still keep dropping stitches okay and then I turn my uh, counter to zero zero <laughs> And uh, I start cranking, but I do it very slowly because I still have problems when I come to these three black needles. It's kind of rough there. It stops. Well, because it's counting, right? It, it starts a new uh, row. That's why it's happening, but I didn't know that, so I was freaking out when I opened the box. Oh, I was so disappointed. So this row is like this it makes this noise I, I, maybe if I make over a thousand scarves and hats it will go normal but uh, 
I always check back. And I hold my yarn. I hold it so it's not loose or it's not tight. Okay, so I'm starting a new row. See? That makes that count. So I'm going a little bit faster because the first row I have to be very careful and I, I have three strands right so again uh, I'm so excited I'm just wondering how it's going to turn out so I will continue uh, cranking this and I'll be right back so excited it's so fun I would highly recommend for knitters crocheters to get one of this machine it's fantastic I just wanted to show you I am doing it very slowly because it is three str strands and then if it doesn't go you have to it's hard okay so I'm doing it slowly as I can and my the yarn is on uh, my hand I'm holding it not tight so I don't want to miss any uh, I don't want the needle to miss the yarn so uh, this is how it looks like but I just love how the colors are becoming this is the first time I am uh, doing it with uh, three three strands of yarn I didn't even do it with two so I'm very challenging myself so I will uh, continue cranking and uh, I'll be right back it's only row six <laughs> okay so I just turned row 10 what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my weights on cuz uh, yeah so to do that what I do is I just clip it on the edge here and it gives a uh, pulls it down so this way I won't lose any stitches it helps me a lot I noticed that oh someone's honking like crazy <laughs> just like this so I two four five and I keep on moving them the more I uh, crank it I like that word <laughs> And I, like I said, I do it as slow as I can because I don't want to lose any stitches. See? Just push this. See this, the red I'm having, uh, I noticed that the red is not grabbing for some reason. And I have this needle, it helps me. I move it around if it doesn't grab it. So I'm gonna watch for that stitch when I come around. It's number 15. Okay, and I will uh, keep on cranking and I will come back to show you how it looks like but the color can you see so you can uh, use your yarn from your stash that you only have one ball left and then make hats scarves well uh, this is going to be a hat because I don't have a, enough yarn to make a scarf so I'll be back to show you more I forgot to mention uh, one of the members was saying that if you use a dryer sheet this is one of my uh, gain uh, dryer sheets like when you're holding the I guess this is what <laughs> she was saying when you're holding your yarn so you just put between the dryer sheet and you start cranking so this helps for uh, for to stop dropping um, I'll see I it's, it's not picking the red so that's what I noticed I just love how the colors are coming yeah so uh, again uh, this is my first time and I wanted to share it with you so I'll just keep on going and I'll come back this is row 16 so far 
Okay, this is how it looks like. Oh, can you believe with those three different color of yarn? One was variegated, one was uh, plain, and the other one was just sparse. Uh, I believe this is a... Uh, I don't know what this is. It has uh, seagulls in it. Uh, but look, look at the colors. And I'm at 55 row, and it's super soft. I would definitely highly recommend you to use this because it helps a lot <laughs> so just wanted to show you i'm not even finished but look at the color oh my goodness so i'm just going to show you so what i do is i clip it like this and it helps it pull it pulls it down so you definitely need need to wait here's one here so again, I bought these at Dollarama, and I uh, can't remember the price, was it $2? Yeah, so uh, let me show you how fast I am doing it, it will compare to before, and this uh, fabric softener is definitely helping. Okay, look. See, I'm going way faster than I was before. So uh, I'm going to try, this is the first time I'm using the fabric softener, because I just read it today. And uh, I'm going to use it on my other uh, items. Yeah, if you cut your hand somewhere and you can't knit or crochet, you can uh, definitely crank, <laughs> crank it, because uh, I can't use my finger. Okay, let me just continue going. And uh, I need to go 140. Well, I finish it all the way. And oh, look at my uh, leftover yarn. So I'm putting them in this bag. And then I'm going to make a scrap hat. Because I saw that as well in that group. I will put the link below. I would highly recommend you to join that group. You will learn lots of new stuff, tricks. that you can't... Oops, I missed it. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll do a couple of rows. Yeah, this red. Red's the only problem. But uh, it was going perfectly until now. So I have to watch what I'm doing. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I just noticed that one of the uh, yarn is finished. And I don't know where I finished it. I was looking at it very carefully. So I'm at 134 rows. And I just have a little bit of left of the uh, solid color. So what I'm going to do is just going to grab my tapestry needle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one at a time. And I will show you the end result. So uh, I only lost a couple of uh, the red uh, sparkly yarn. So other than that, it worked perfectly. Like I didn't, oops, sorry. I didn't lose any strands of yarn. Like I didn't drop any uh, yarn, so that was great. Okay, let me just grab those stitches and let me show you. Doesn't this look nice? This is the wrong side, of course. And I will show you the right side. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. So it's going to be a slotchy hat. Look at the colors! Ta-da! <laughs> Doesn't this look nice? Oh my goodness! It's like dyeing yarn! You just play around with the colors and this is what comes out. Oh my goodness! I can't believe, believe how it turned out. Wow! It's really hard to capture the shine. I don't know if you can see it. Let me finish this hat. I am thrilled! This is going to be on my Etsy shop. <laughs> and it's because it's a super wash merino wool. It's so squishy. Oh, it's so hard to explain this. Again, I, I, I showed you the colors. One was plain. One was variegated. And I just added this. Just to finish. Give a nice uh, shiny look. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how it turned out. Okay, I'll be right back. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at the colors. 
I had this set color, so I thought this would match perfect. Doesn't this look nice? Oh my goodness. You know, you play with colors, even when dyeing yarn, uh, painting yarn. You, you never know what's going to come out, but I just love, love, love how this turned out. I put it on my head. My head is about a 23 inches around, so this is a little bit tight for me. But, um, yeah, if I wear it, I'm sure it's going to fit perfectly. But uh, the thing is, this is so squishy because of the superwash, right? And I can't believe the pom-pom. So it's a... Uh, uh, I'm using a uh, removable pom-poms so I sew that up and then you just click it back on so fluffy oh my goodness can't even see it because it's so fluffy well this is fake fur right I bought these on Amazon so I hope you like this tutorial I just can't believe how this turned out and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. Happy knitting. Happy crocheting. And uh, we'll uh, talk soon. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Tomorrow is the 24th of December.